is chapter 12, lesson 3, adding and subtracting decimals. We're done with fractions, decimals. Okay, our learning goal for today, of course, by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to add and subtract decimals. Let's do a quick review of place value really quick. Here is a number. Okay, how do I say this number in word form? Daniel. 128 Good. 128 and, remember the decimal sign is an and, 175 thousandths. Let's quickly review some place values. What is this place value here? Hundreds. What is this one? What is this one? Ones. What is this? Decimal point in word form, we say and. and. Good. Okay, the first one is called the? This is the? Very good. Okay, here is our word problem for right now. Joe, he was at the amusement park. Let's call it Funland. He, was, he walked 0 0.4 or 4 tenths of a mile to the roller coaster, 5 tenths of a mile to Crazy Critter, and finally, 75 hundredths of a mile to Tipsy Turvy. How many miles did Joe walk? First of all, which mathematical operation does this word problem require us to do and why? Goni? Addition. Why addition? Because they're asking how many miles in all did Joe walk. Very good. So we have to add up all the distances he walked. So what's the first distance Joe walked? What's the first distance Joe walked, Arjun? Okay, so step one is to line up all of your decimals. So that means we want to line up to make sure all our ones are in the same place, all of our decimal points are in the same place, all of our tenths are in the same place, all of our hundredths are in the same place, all in the same rows, okay? So first he walks four tenths of a mile. Then how far did he walk, Henrik? Um, he walked <coughs> 0.5 miles. Okay, or five tenths of a mile. So I'm going to line it up. My ones are together, my decimal points are together, and my tenths are together. Then how far did he walk last? Chris? 75, 75 hundredths. 75 hundredths. Good. So again, I'm going to line up my ones. I'm going to line up my decimal point. I'll line up my tenths. And in this one, I have hundredths. So I will go ahead and write that over here. Do I have any hundredths in my first few decimals? No. So what can I put there instead? Nadia? Zero. Zeros. Good. Okay. Is step one done? Are all the decimals lined up? Yes. Are all the ones lined up? Yes. Are all the decimal points lined up? Yes. Go ahead. Are all the tenths lined up? Yes. Are all the hundredths lined up? Yes. Very good. So what's step two then? What's step two? What does it say, Hamon? Add each place value. Add each place value. Okay. So I'm going to turn this into an addition problem. And let's add. Let's add the hundredths first. Zero plus zero plus five is? Five. Okay. Let's add the tenths next. 4 plus 5 plus 7 is? 16. So I have 6 and I have to carry the 1, huh? In my 1's I have 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is? 1. Okay, I'm going to keep my decimal point in the same place. So how far did he walk altogether? How far did Joe walk altogether? Michaela? 1 and 65 hundredths of a mile. Now, very important. Okay, step three, very important. Don't overlook this. We are going to estimate to check to see if our, reason, or if our answer is reasonable. How could we estimate to see if our answer is reasonable? What could we do? Sonal? We can add um, 75 hundredths to the nearest tenth. Oh, so what if we round all of our numbers to the nearest tenth? 0 0.4, do we have to round that to get to a tenth? No. It already only has tenths. What about 0 0.5? No. Okay, 0 0.75, can we round that to the nearest tenth? Yeah. What is that rounded to the nearest tenth? 0. Good. So if I do 4 tenths plus 5 tenths plus 8 tenths, what does that equal? About how many tenths is that? Arjun? 17, 17 tenths or... 1 and 7 tenths. Is our answer close? Is our actual answer close to our estimate? Yeah. yeah. 
So it shows when we check, that means that our answer was reasonable. Daniel, I said go quickly. I thought you were going like this. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, let's try these sample problems. 54 minus 48 and 75 hundredths. For me, it's easier to write it vertically, right? So what was step one? What is step one, Riley? Line up the decimals. Line up the decimals. Okay, so here I have tens and ones. So I'm going to write my tens and my ones. Do I have any decimals there? No. no. Okay, and then I have 48, that's my 10, that's my 1, and then I have tenths and I have hundredths. Okay? For me, as I said, it helps me to write those zeros just so I can see that that's what's there, especially when it's subtraction. It's really hard for me to subtract when there's nothing there, right? Okay, then step two, once everything is lined up, I can go ahead and do the math. Can I subtract zero hundredths and five hundredths? Can I do that? What do I need to do? What do I need to do, Atharva? Regroup. I need to regroup. Okay. Can I borrow? Can I regroup from my tenths? No. No. So I have to go all the way over to my ones. So I'm going to change that to a three, which you can't see that well. And this one's a ten, right? Then I'll regroup from here. I'll change that to a nine, and now this is a ten, right? So ten hundredths minus five hundredths is how many hundredths? Christian? Um, five. Five. Good. Remember, I made this into a ten, but now, and then I regrouped again, so it's a nine. Nine tenths minus seven tenths is? Tenths. How many tenths? Come on. Two tenths. Two tenths. Good. Keep my decimal point there. I had to regroup. It used to be four in the ones, but now it is three. Can I do eight, three minus eight? So what do I need to do again? I need to? Archie? Regroup. So I'm going to borrow one or change that to a four and change this to 13. 13 ones minus eight ones is, Chris? Five ones. Then four tens minus four tens is? Zero tens. So my answer is five and 25 hundredths. Am I done? No. Well, how can I estimate to check my answer? What should I round to? Should I round to the nearest tenth? Should I round to the nearest whole number? What would make more sense in this case? Swati, what do you think would make the most sense? Would you like to round to the nearest tenth or to the nearest whole number? Which one? Nearest whole number. Okay, 54, is that already a whole number? Good. What about 48 and 75 hundredths? What's the nearest whole number? Sakshi? 49. So to estimate, we could do... 54 minus 49. What is 54 minus 49, Sawyer? What is 45? 54 minus 49. Five. Take off your hood and pay attention, please. Take your notes. Good. Is that close to our actual answer? Is our actual answer reasonable? Yeah. Very good. Remember, your homework I am going to be, and on your test, I'm going to be looking to make sure that you are estimating to check. Okay? Sawyer, what did I just say I'm going to be looking to make sure you do? Estimating to check. Very good. Okay, one more practice problem. 34 and 56 hundredths plus 12 and 7 tenths. What is step one? What is step one, Shelly? Line up the decimals. Line up the decimals. Very good. So I have... Third, oops, 34 and 56 tenths, or sorry, 56 hundredths, and then I have 12 and 7 tenths. Good. Is everything lined up? Are all my tens lined up? Are all my ones lined up? Are all my decimal points lined up? Are all my tenths lined up? Are all my hundredths lined up? Shelly was going like this. She's giving me a lot of thumbs up. Makes me feel good. Good. Step two, then, is just to add. Okay, let's add our, we always start on the right-hand side. Let's add our hundredths first. How many hundredths do I have all together, Nadia? Good. How many hundredths do I have? Six. Six. Okay. How many tenths do I have? Erica, how many tenths do I have? Five tenths plus seven tenths is? 
12 tenths, otherwise known as 2 tenths, and I will regroup the 10 into ones. Good. 1 plus 4 plus 2 is how many ones, Carmel? Seven. 7 ones. 3 tenths plus 1 ten is, Vienna? 4. four. My answer is 47 and 26 hundredths. Am I done? No. What should I round to? Do you guys like to round to the nearest tenth or the nearest whole number? Whole number, okay. What's 34 rounded to the nearest whole number? 35. What is 12, round, 12 and 7 tenths rounded to the nearest whole number? 13. 35 plus 13 is? 48. Is that pretty close to the answer we got? It should be bigger because we rounded up both numbers, right? So is it slightly bigger than our answer? Is our answer reasonable?